हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय क्लास एंड लास्ट पीरियड आई हैव टॉट यू द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ आर्ट्स सो इन दोज एलिमेंट्स वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द स्पेस लाइन शेप्स फॉर्म कलर्स वैल्यू एंड टेक्चर सो वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द फर्स्ट ड्राइंग विच इज द एलिमेंट ऑफ द ड्राइंग इज द स्पेस so are you excited to uh, start our new drawing so let's turn your page and see here is the second space or working area so here uh given some information like first we are going to read it in the language of art space indicates the area used by an artist to complete a drawing the surface required to make a drawing is confined not only to the drawing sheet but also includes the background comprising any one of the following a canvas cloth wall wood palm leaves metal or a glass object the surface can be of any medium but depending upon the form of the drawing the artist has to use the area horizontally and vertically so the space is the element of the drawing and it's up to you in what way you are going to use that space of that drawing so here is the sky scraper drawing already given here the vertical space you can see the space is in the vertical direction and down side some huts and some pictures some huts are given and house and some bushes and trees it is drawn in the horizontal you can see that rectangle so that is called the horizontal space so here in this drawing we are going to draw here it is mentioned use this vertical space to draw a skyscraper so see the picture of sky scraper so do you think like is it a easy drawing or it is hard obviously you will uh, think when you see this drawing first time it is quite difficult but to be honest it is not that much difficult as you think because to start our drawing we have to first observe the picture properly like which are the basic shapes which are given uh in this picture the framework we are going to draw first so the main part when you see to the picture you can see this is the base okay this shape and then you can see here is one big rectangle there are small two rectangles in vertical direction two columns and the culmination of this skyscraper so let's start our drawing here i have drawn already with the pencil because to save my time for making the video so i will show you how to draw with the sketch pen now first you have to so first you have to uh see this picture and you can divide your page so that much part you have to leave for the ground and this part you have to uh draw the skyscraper so you can measure with your finger the distance and this distance so the same way you have to first make one rectangle the space where you are going to draw the picture of skyscraper so i am using sketch pen now first i am going to draw the space for the drawing So 
Now first we are going to draw. This is with the pencil. I have drawn already. So first we will draw the uh, line. So it is the if you draw the horizontal line, so it will be like this. So it is slightly slanting. You can see. So draw one slanting line. Then again you have to draw the parallel line which should be the slanting and here draw the vertical line. So you can see the distance from here to here. So here is the less width of these lines and here is the thickness has been increased. So you have to draw the same way. Here should be the small and here should be the big. Now then here draw one vertical line and again one. slanting line so at the bottom there are here one line there are two lines three lines are there but I will think how many I can draw okay draw the three same slanting lines so this way you have to draw the line okay now this remaining we will do later now first the basic shape we are going to draw first draw one rectangle here here is horizontal line And here slightly the slanting. Then these are the slanting line you have to draw because this is the thickness of this rectangle. So this is the main rectangle we have drawn. Then draw the side lines. Which will be the horizontal And make here the vertical line so these are the small rectangle which is besides this big one now what is the inside of this big rectangle you have to draw one line parallel line it should be horizontal and again there are two more lines So while making picture don't be hurry step by step you can stop the video and complete your uh, one one line so now we are going to draw the entrance so at the entrance there is the again one rectangle then draw the door of this skyscraper main entrance same like the so tiny lines are there so use scale and do it properly upside there is angle then above this entrance door there are again two horizontal lines which you have to draw it you can see like this rectangle the main entrance door and above these two horizontal lines now here again you have to draw the angle now Inside this shape, there is 
सम वेंटिलेशन नाउ हियर इज द स्पेस देयर यू हैव टू ड्रॉ द अगेन वर्टिकल लाइन विच विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द हाफ ऑफ द एंट्रेंस स्पेस लाइक दिस फ्रॉम हियर देन सेम दिस साइड ड्रॉ एंड हियर हॉरिजेंटल लाइन so that entrance has completed now about this there are some columns now another side also so the thicknesses of these columns are different this is the thin column and this is the thick because we are making the picture in perspective view so this side the uh, which we are making this shapes should be small and this side it should be broad so it will it will give the 3d effect to your drawing now here some petal shapes are there so first draw the base line like this and simply draw the petal shapes here so the petal shapes also the size of these petals decreasing from this uh, right side so same way upside petals you have to show the difference in the sizes which will be the decreasing from left to right now the culmination of this skyscraper so the draw the shape draw some lines because uh, there is the block design so first we have to draw the line curve lines then here i am going to make the block design so this culmination is ready now come to the bottom and draw the blocks draw the slanting line with the scale so this way and you can observe again this blocks uh, sizes are decreasing from left to right so you have to show that difference
now here again one horizontal line down here one curve shape and inside this curve shape you have to draw the vertical lines two lines perpendicular like parallel okay that much so students up to this you have to complete your drawing and rest of the picture we will draw in our next class thank you for watching